there everybody claire here from buttercup creations art so i do apologize um i did make a part two to this um but 26 minutes into filming an air ambulance turned up in the field just uh, in the back of my house so that's all you could hear <laughs> so i do apologize um so what i done in that video is um i think i started uh, i'd done the waxing so i used obviously this is annie sloan paint old violet um i painted it over bits of paper scuffed it then i um waxed i used a clear wax and then a black wax um just to give it that you know age to the depths of it then i used um three in one glue which i just dabbed and then used some gold leaf and as you can see it's that so far like so obviously i've got the underside to do but i'll do that off camera um and then obviously the inside so if you haven't seen my previous video to this we are creating something along the lines of a um steampunk um box to put a journal in um obviously i'll be putting the journals in um so this is just to sort of give you an idea on what to do so i'm just going to get building bits and pieces that we can put on the front um and then obviously we'll be painting it so so far i have used a pen inside and i've covered it with card and then what i'm going to do is paint all over it then use a um acrylic gel to set it um what after obviously i've done this um you know distressing it with inks um and then that will obviously sit there but i have got some of this um floral twine um it's the wire so i've got it in that beautiful color and i'm going to do some um i've created some holes there on this side so and then i'm going to create some springs that will come out into another piece there and then obviously the springs will come out and um attach to something along the back there so what we're going to do is just get some bits of card that we're going to create because that's all that is is card which i've stained up so something really simple up upcycling our card which is even better excuse the mess of this this is this obviously needs a good clean so going to do that so what i want to try and do is build up an area so if we come down to here because and then wherever it be wherever have i put them i don't know so um, what i'd like to do is put one of those on there maybe if not i can find somewhere else for it to put um so all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna lay this out to see how it will look and just build it up from there so you see that would go up so i'd want a piece to go underneath which we could have like so and let's do another piece to go along here Oh, there's another bit there so we could have you slid under there and down there okay and then we'll get another piece to go along here i know i'm covering up some of the clock but i can do a bit of stamping afterwards 
So obviously we've got clogs going on there as well. <laughs> All right, let me just make sure that's lined up. Okay. Let me stick that onto there. Make sure that's... Have to go there. Okay, so that's that bit. Now let's get painting because that's always a fun bit. So I've got some of this because I'm learning from my mistakes. I'm actually going to treat myself to a glass one. It'll be easier to wipe down. Right, okay, so we've got that to paint. Dot, 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 and that. Move that out of the way. They're virtually dry. Um, I'm just going to let those finish off drying a bit more. I have put a second coat on them that I'm hoping that they're going to work. Um, I'm just going to leave that there a sec because, as you can see, I need to just tidy up along this edge here because that will bug me. like that and then just along here just to give it a nice sharp edge like so and then what i want to do because this one's virtually dry actually no i want to wait just for a second i'm going to be a pain in the bum bum <laughs> as you do and where it is dry I'm going to just put a little bit of inking on there of the clock. So I've just got this one here. I'm just going to dab a bit on there. And then I'm just going to lay that on that bit. Just give it a good press down. And then do that. Is that one dry? That one's not quite dry one's not quite dry and that one's not <laughs> right so we'll finish that bit off so um what we could do is actually measure up to decorate the inside um so what i'd like to do is use old book pages and all i'm going to do is i'm going to just draw around it just so i can get it in there perfectly um pencil claire would be helpful and I'm just going to go around the edge and then cut along and do that whilst the paint is drying. Now I don't know where my scissors are. So Claire definitely needs a holiday. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this. Like so. And I'm just going to Giant. like so <laughs> I'll go around like that and then this should theoretically sit in the inside just right we've got our measurements right no so we need to take a bit off And I'm just going to go to there, like that. And if it sits in nicely for me, which, come on, slide over. So that's the bit that needs to come up. Okay. Take a little bit more off. So I'll do it that side. And I'm just going to go... 
that. Hopefully that's just right. Perfect. Right, okay, so what I want to do now, whilst this is all dry, we might as well get on tinkering with other stuff, aren't we? Let's not dilly dally. So just going to line the inside and I'm just going to go around the edge, give it that edge look. Oop. Like so. Like so. That's that bit. And we want some glue. Actually, do. Where's me? Where's me? Oh, Mod Podge. Get that out. And we're just going to go around the inside whilst that other stuff's drying and get this done. Okay. Good. A coat of that in there, just, just enough so it will sit. Touch more, so it felt a bit dry. Should get into the nooks and crannies a bit, and then I'm just gonna layer that in there, like so. Slide it. Slide over. Okay. Just push that down. And that's the first one. And then we will do the sides. So the sides and then the top. So let's get the sides done. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to close the lid and just draw around this twice and let's get another one in there we shall I'm not too worried about it overlapping because It needs to come down a little bit anyway. Just so we can fit it in. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that to its side, make sure we got it on. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is slide that along a bit more like that. And I'm just going to do a crease in it so we can take that bit off. I mean, you can do exact measurements if you like with the ruler. Claire doesn't work that way. <laughs> work it by eye. Work it by eye. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to lay a bit of glue in there. It'll stay, stay. Well done. Like so. Make sure we got all the do all the rain going around the same way.
that I will sand off because I know that will be easy enough to take off. So as you can see, it's starting to come together. And we're going to do the same that side, like so. Okay, I'm just going to take that off there. These bits are nearly dry. So keep that. Did dab of glue. Know what I haven't done. Nearly sack myself then for that. Staining. Don't have to do staining. And slide you in there. Like so. Perfect fit. Right, so we've just got the sides to do. So let's get another piece. As we can see, oh, it's back with that. Right to that. And one again. Oh, yeah, perfect. Right, let's just take some off there. And there. See if you slide in a bit more, a bit more, oh yeah, perfect, let's get this one measured up, oh, <laughs> oops, not to worry, not to worry. We are, we are fixers. We're fixers. Right, okay. That one. That. Get some good old glue going on. Get that one in. Those pieces are ready to rock and roll. Right, okay, so I'm just gonna slide you that way a bit, and then work a bit of magic. Just gonna dip dab a bit of glue on there onto the top bit of the paper. Oop, don't make a mess, Claire. And slide you over the top, like so. Happy day. So it's just the top bit to do. Let's just close that up for a second. Are they all dry yet? Not quite. It's all right. Keep checking, keep checking. Right, so that's that bit done. We're liking that. And we want to do the inside. There. So, there, there, there. Right. Doing it by eye again. <laughs> As you do. Get that around that way. Okay, not now. Let me try and 
that's the right width. No, it needs to come down a bit more. Oh, we'll keep them. The top bits. Okay. Just tidy that bit up. way let's oh come here you like so get a bit of glue going on sand those bits off fab right it's just using up what paper we've got here little waste the better that's my motto anyway <laughs> okay I'm just gonna go along there actually along that bit along that Get the glue all in there. Wonder if that will fit along there nicely. Yes. Like so. And you along there. Oh no, sticking to my hands now. Oh <laughs> Damn, that's it. Slide that along there, and we want some more. Let's try and not waste. this because I've noticed a bit that it's blank. I'm just going to stain that up, get my brush a sec. I'm just going to dab a bit of glue on there. Like so. 
perfect. Let's do that last little edge. Make it tidy, Claire, please. Oh, make it tidy, Claire, please. Oh, cool. Get that little edge off. Uh, paper's sticking to my hands now. <clears throat> Like that. So there's a little gap there that's going to really annoy me <laughs> even more than the last one. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and oh, like so. There we go. So that's the inside done. Um, obviously, I'm going to sand these bits because and then this edging will get painted as well. But there's no point in doing it when we've got the top to decorate. Right, okay. Tidy up your mess, Claire. Thank you very much. Right, okay. So, is this dry? That one is right okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of staining long long there so i want to try and get the edges as much as i possibly can and create that wood effect then all i'm going to do is with this black oops so i'm just gonna top that edge off And then we will add a bit of this. So this is like a clear glass. So as you can see, we've got it going on like so. And then I'm just going to add some clear coat. Around that way. And around that way. And then just going to leave that to dry a minute. It will dry clear. So we'll do that one. So we'll do. okay there so that's that doing this one is dry now so let's quickly get this stained up oh stick to my hands the glue <laughs> Okay, on that edge. Okay. okay. Along there. Right, okay, that's that. And then I'm just gonna go along with the black again. like so I'm just gonna go up through there like that yes I know it's a mess <laughs> Claire likes mess I will that will be glued back down 
have no fear so that will glue back down into that position so I'm just gonna go along some of this just to seal it into place Gives it a nice shine to it, and Claire is going to get so, so, so messy. We like messy, right? Okay, I'm just gonna uh, let's just do those edges a minute. Let's go along there, seal that in, seal that in. <laughs> okay, right, I'm just gonna let that sit and dry as long as we've got it all coated right okay so there's that bit shove that in there like so i'm going to go and wash up and let this all dry and then on the next video we will get tinkering and gluing it down and obviously incorporating the cogs and making springs everything i hope you have a lovely day happy crafting everybody take care bye